Hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. Um, Matic, obviously, for anybody who's new on the channel, completed this five-wave pattern to the upside. We talked about that, but I just need to mention it for anybody who's new on the channel. Five-wave movements indicate in which direction the trend is going. And if we have a five-wave pattern to the upside, then it typically indicates that the trend is up. Trend is up against um, a key support level, which is then the 58 cent level, because after five waves up, we get a counter trend move. And the counter trend move typically lands in a certain support region. The ideal support was between 80.5 cents and 58.3. Support did hold. The market is already reversing out of this support region. And in a third wave, we could be looking at $2.12 plus better $2.42. Yeah. Uh, further extension is always possible. It is possible that we get into the yellow support region again, you know, looking at this time frame here and looking at the bigger picture, absolutely. And in this case, the 58 cent level is the critical support. Yeah, so that's the key level um, because the 50, uh, well, in this case, the 58 cent level, that's the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level. And a break below that level typically indicates that things are starting to break down. I cannot rule that out, you know, but we need to know at what level the market will likely change its mood. And that is the 58 cent level. It's usually the 78.6 FIP level. Okay, looking at the one hour time frame, um, we had this wave two low in place. So that's the idea, the counter trend move. After we have five waves up, typically we need a correction in three waves. That's the most simple form of a trend, five waves up, three waves down. You can't do it with three and one. You need at least five and three. That's what nature decides, you know. Um, well, it's common sense, but the nature typically, nature typically adheres to the most simple and most efficient method, right? And that's just five and three. You can't do it with less. You can do it with more, but it's just not efficient. So we have five and three. And then from here, we looked at another five wave move up, looking at the microstructure three waves down into the next support area, which offered a much tighter uh, stop and a much better reward and risk ratio. And then from here, from that box, we have another reaction. So really good and profitable trade so far here. Another five wave move up. And let's see now if we can hold support because from here, I've got another support area, which starts at 78 cents, between 78 basically and round about 81 cents. That would be the ideal support zone for this wave too. There's no guarantee we get into the support region, um, but I've I've left it a little. I've, you know, I'm giving it a little bit more space because it's possible that this smaller degree wave one actually finished here, depending on how I label the microstructure. And this move up is just a high B wave, but I don't trust that. So I, you know, I want to give it a little bit more space though. Um, and here, 78 cents would be my key support. It doesn't mean we get into this support region, yeah. Um, especially if the wave one is really at the top then I would have to adjust the support region, but then it's at 78.4 cents. But I just want to give it that little bit more space to account for the alternative scenario as well. If I have two support levels, one is a little bit lower, I would typically present the lower one because otherwise, you know, you risk getting stopped out too early or something. But yeah, a sustained break below, yeah, basically 78 cents would suggest that we're falling back into that scenario here in which a wave two is still in the making yeah but for now this is a very good foundation for a third wave rally we have a one two one two and maybe another one two setup at the moment it looks as if over the weekend here this wave two is unfolding especially on saturday seems to be a quiet day support levels are defined and um, it's possible it's doing this this is really micro counting now but the chart is fairly clear. So it offers that possibility that we can do micro counting here. ABC, that's a possibility. Um, but it's, it's yeah, the, the smaller we go on the time frame, the less reliable. I can only highlight to you that we have a bullish structure, especially against 58 cents. Um, smaller time frame, it's this last swing low actually at um, around about 76 cents. And then really for this more imminent one, two setup, it's the 78 cent level below that level. Yeah, we, we have to look at the chart again. The microstructure would then break, but that doesn't mean that the larger degree assumption will change. It won't until we see really much more bearish price action. OK, but the most important thing is at the moment, those trades have been profitable for anybody who took them, you know, and found entries in those boxes. 
But obviously altcoins can always change their change their mind quickly, especially as many of them relate a little bit to Bitcoin and follow Bitcoin to a degree. Not all of them, not always. Um, but yeah, we always need to be, you know, what we always need to watch the charts like a hawk because th things can change, especially when we talk about the altcoins. Bitcoin, not so much. That's my update about Matic. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.